noun is a word used as the name of a person, a place, or a thing. We can also say naming word is called a noun. For example, chair, egg, boy, pen, city, etc. Nouns are divided into two categories countable nouns and uncountable nouns. The nouns that can be counted are called countable nouns. For example, book. sentence this book is very interesting another one the girl is looking sad uncountable nouns names of things substances metals materials or abstract ideas that cannot be counted are called uncountable nouns for example beauty gold ear And sentences The table is made of wood. The gold is a precious metal. Kind of noun. Basically, there are two kinds of noun concrete noun and abstract noun. Concrete nouns are the nouns that can be identified through of the our four senses that are taste, touch, sight, hearing, and smell. Concrete nouns are further divided into proper noun, common noun, collective noun, material noun, and compound noun. Proper noun, name of a particular person, place, or thing given to Multan, English, etc. And in sentences, Multan is called the city of saints. It is an English book. Common noun. The name that refers commonly to a large number of persons, places, or things of similar kinds. For example, boy, city, king. And in sentences, the boy is singing. It is a hot city. Collective noun. The name of a collection of persons, places or things taken as together and referred as a whole. It shows the group of nouns. For example, flock, herd, clump, class, army, crowd, team, and really family, hive, etc. And in sentences, it is a hive of peace. Pakistan army is one of the best armies in the world. Collective nouns are usually used as singular except police. In a sentence, the police are chasing the thief. Material noun Name of materials, metals and substances in making other things. For example, cement, water, gold, silver, iron, wood, cotton, milk, sand, etc. And in sentences, Pakistan is sufficient in cotton. The ring is made of gold. Compound noun. Two or more words as a name of one person, one place or one thing is called compound noun. For example, class fellow lady doctor, whiteboard, handbag, roommate, age fellow, classroom, etc. And in sentences, Ali is my age fellow. The rover snatched her handbag. Second kind is abstract now. The names given to a state, feelings, ID, 
diseases characteristics and sciences are called abstract nouns they have no material being so they cannot be identified through our five senses for example birds death love hate nst this nst childhood youth mercy kindness anger hate pain etc and in sentences nst is the best body c love begets love another category of noun is gender gender is the division of nouns according to their sexes masculine gender it refers to male gender for example boy father loin feminine gender it refers to female gender for example mother loiness girl common gender it refers to the both of the sexes for example doctor lawyer pronoun pronoun is a word that used in a place of a noun for example he she it they etc kinds of pronoun personal pronoun reflexive pronoun emphatic pronoun demonstrative pronoun relative pronoun interrogative pronoun and indefinite pronoun personal pronoun here is a chart of personal pronoun in this chart we can see i and v are first persons u is second person and he she it and they are third persons the nominated conditions are called subjective cases its possessive cases are my and mine of i subjective case and of v r and ours and of you your and yours and of he his she her and hers it its they their and theirs objective cases are me us you him her it them in possessive cases there are two possessives possessive adjectives are mine yours hers and theirs and possessive pronouns are my your his her its and theirs for example it is my book and this book is mine more examples of personal pronouns are she is a doctor he helped me etc reflexive pronoun reflexive pronoun is used to indicate that the subject and the object of the sentence are the same for example i ruined myself she hurts herself emphatic pronoun 
Emphatic pronouns are used to lay emphasis, force, insistence on the subject of a sentence. For example, he himself admitted his fault. I wrote this essay myself. Demonstrative pronoun. Demonstrative pronouns are used to point out the object to whom we are referring to. For example, this book is mine. That is too big for you. These are old clothes. Those are better than these. Relative pronoun. Relative pronouns introduce relative clauses that are dependent on what we are referring to and the type of relative clauses. For example, that, which, whose, whom, who, and sentences, it is my book which has pictures. He is the man who helps me. Interrogative pronoun. Interrogative pronouns are used for asking questions. For example, what, which, who, whom, and in sentences, who are you, which book is yours. Indefinite pronoun. An indefinite pronoun is a pronoun that refers to non-specific thing, object, or place. For example, everything, everyone, something, someone, nothing, few, all, nobody. And in sentences, some are born great. Everybody can attend this function. Adjective. Adjective qualifies a noun or a pronoun. Kinds of adjective. The first is proper adjective. It is formed from a proper name. For example, Pakistan to Pakistani. Pakistani nation is a brave nation. Second, adjective of quality. It is used to describe the nature of a noun. For example, pretty, small, honest, kind, large, bulky, beautiful, ugly. In sentence, he is a good boy. It is a beautiful flower. Third, adjective of quantity. It helps to show the approximate amount of the noun or pronoun. For example, much, more, most, all, half, many, few, a little, no, enough, some, great. An example of sentence, we have much food. Water. Number four, numeral adjectives. They are used to show the number of nouns and their place in an order. There are three different sections of them. First, definite numeral adjective. They clearly denote an exact number of nouns or the order of the noun. In cardinals, one, two, 20, 33, etc. A watch has two hands. And in ordinals, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 7th, etc. I stood first in the class. Second is indefinite numeral adjectives. They do not give an exact numerical amount but just give a general idea of the amount. For example, some many, few, any, several, all, etc. I got several in J.
tragedies in an accident. Third is distributive numeric numeral adjective. They are used to refer to individual noun within the whole amount. For example, either, neither, each, another, other, etc. Each battery is in a separate compartment. Kind number five emphasizing adjective or you can say emphasizing adjective it denotes stress on a noun idleness and maker can be used maker can be used emphasizing emphasizing adjective idleness is the very reason very reason of his failure man is maker of his fortune number 6 exclamatory adjective this kind we use exclamatory words like how what etc how beautiful the bird what a scene of nature number 7 demonstrative adjective it points out which person or thing is meant for example this that those such etc this boy is clever mangoes are sweet number 8 possessive adjectives it denotes possession for example my or your his her their its he has ruined his health this is my book number 9 distributive adjective it denotes a person or a thing separately for example each every either neither etc every word of the holy quran is a truth everyone should do his duty and number 10 interrogative adjectives it is used before a noun to ask a question for example who knocking at the door what game do you like degrees of adjectives there are three degrees of adjectives positive degree it simply expresses a quality for example he is a good boy second comparative degree it is used to compare two things for example he is taller than ali relative degree it is used to compare in all the things for example he is the tallest of the boys in the poll there are some main points to be noted about the degrees of adjectives if there is only one syllable in a word we use er and est at the end of the words to form the comparative and superlative degree for example poor poorer poorest big bigger biggest rich richer richest and if there is more than one syllables in a word we use more and most to make the comparative and superlative degrees for example beautiful more beautiful most beautiful honorable more honorable most honorable careful more careful most careful and there is a complete change in comparative and superlative degrees they are called irregular adjectives for example good better best bad worse worst little less least far farther farthest yes. articles are a subclass
of determiners with determine or pacify the noun that follow. Two types in definite articles they are a and an and definite articles they are t. Use of indefinite articles a and an. We talk about a singular common noun we use a and an before it. For example a man a cat, a table. If a word begins with a wall, we use an with it, an orange, an egg. If the first letter of the word is silent and it is definitely H, there is no sound of it, and next letter is a wall, we use an before it, like honest, an honest, an R. The abbreviations with Give the sound of a wall, we use an with them, and the abbreviations which do not give the sound of wall, we use a with them, like an MA, an FA, a PA, a DSP. If a word begins with any wall, A, E, I, O, U, but does not give the sound of wall, we use a with this word. A university. A unique person, a European, a useful, etc. Zero indefinite articles. We cannot put A and N with plural noun. For example, I have books. Boys were going to college. We cannot put A and N with uncountable noun. For example, we bought new furniture. He was carrying luggage with him. We cannot put A and N with material and concrete noun. For example, water is needed here. Virtue is its own rewarded. He is a man of quality. We do not put A and N with the proper noun. For example, Lahore is a big city. Ali is a great poet. Use of definite article that is T. We use T before the qualitative names of Allah, the kind, the merciful, the almighty. We use T before the names of animals and things that represent their whole class. For example, the horse runs fast, the mango is a sweet fruit. T before the name of seas, the Arabian Sea, the Indian Ocean, the Pacific Ocean. We use T before the range of mountains, the Krakram, the Hindu Kush. We use T before the group of state, the UAE, the USSR. We use T before the group of islands, the Maldives. Indeed, we use the before the names of rivers, the Ravi, the Indus. We use the before the names of holy books, the Holy Quran, the Bible. We use the before the names of nations, the Muslims, the Pakistanis, the English. We use the before the names of newspapers and magazines, the Pakistan Times, the Nation. We use the before the names of desert, the Sahara, the Gobi Desert. We use the before the popular moments, the Pakistan Resolution. We use the before the names of historical places, the Badshahi Mask. We use the before the directions, the East, the West, the North, the South. We use the before the seasons, the Spring, the Autumn, the Winter, the Summer. We use T before the names of heavenly bodies, the sun, the moon, the sky. We use T before the person's titles, the qaid e azam the madar e millat We use T when we compare someone or something with other things like Ashfaq Ahmad is the Shakespeare of Pakistan. We use T before the date of month when we specify them, they 
दी वर्ड वी यूज दी बिफोर द वेल नोन वर्ड्स द फर्स्ट वर्ड वर्ड वी यूज दी विद आइडेंटिकल क्लॉजेस द सूनर यू गो द बेटर इट इज वी यूज दी व्हिच वी नीड टू यूज एन आर्टिकल लाइक द बैंक द मूवीज द हॉस्पिटल द डेंटिस्ट द डॉक्टर द बस स्टॉप वी यूज दी बिफोर द सुपरलेटिव डिग्री ऑफ एडजेक्टिव he is the best of all zero definite article d we do not use d with mountain lake towns cities when they consist in single word like pakistan is an islamic republic saiful muluk is a famous lake we do not use d with the things which are already plural Lahore is the capital of the Punjab. We do not use the with concrete noun and abstract noun. Gold is a precious metal. Love begets love. We do not use the with languages. He speaks English. We do not use the with days, months. He came here on Friday. Action word is called a word kinds regular verb a verb following the normal pattern of inflection the general rule in that regular verb it forms the past tense and past participle tense by adding d and ed at the end of the simple verb form For example, call, called, called, play, played, played, wash, washed, washed. Irregular verb, a verb which does not follow the normal pattern of inflection. There are some differences in irregular verb patterns. The first is. we are simple present form past form and past participle form are the same for example put 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 cut 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 second we are the simple present form past form and past participle form are the different go went go see saw seen third where simple present form and past participle form are the same like come came come run ran run fourth where past and past participle form are the same but it is not the regular verb forms category for example catch caught caught make made made dry dried dried transitive verb a transitive verb exerts its action on a direct object to express a complete thought for example maya sent candy from australia he passed a dish to me in transitive verb in transitive verbs are action verbs that do not have a direct object for example the pilot landed carefully the baby is sleeping the wind blew hard ergative verb ergative verb is a verb that can be both transitive and intransitive where the subject of the intransitive is the same as the object of the transitive verb For example open the door opened she opened the door read i have read a book i have been reading for ages auxiliary verb it is used in forming the tenses moods and voices of other words there are two categories of auxiliary verb primary auxiliary verb they not only use 
as helping verb but also the main verb in a sentence they are is am are was were has have had do does did and in sentences she is a doctor is as a main verb she is playing badminton her is uses as helping verb secondary or modal helping verbs or auxiliary verbs they only use as helping verbs in a sentence for example they are will shall would can could may might must should out to i will go to call it tomorrow finish verb it shows agreement with the subject is which is mark for tense for example the man runs to the store to get a glass of milk non finish verb it does not show a distinction in number person or tense and normally cannot stand alone as main verb for example she forgot to call them into the party dynamic verb it shows continually or progressive action on the part of the subject they threw the bat ball i hit it i ate a banana and drank a glass of chocolate milk stative verb it describes a state of being for example we are what we believe we are the word or phrase that modifies or qualifies a verb an adjective or other adverb in a sentence kinds of adverb adverb of time adverb of place adverb of manner adverb of present adverb of quantity or degree adverb of affirmation or negation adverb of reason or cause adverb of comparison adverb of number or frequency interrogative adverb correlative adverb adverb of time it describes time and period for example always late never after today tomorrow yesterday soon ago since for frequently presently and in sentence i went to lahore two days ago when points out adverb of time adverb of place it describes place of an occurrence for example here there out below above up under outside inside within without every and in sentence the cat is under the table where points out adverb of place adverb of manner it describes the manner of occurrence for example well badly quickly loudly clearly neatly slowly honestly nicely etc and in sentence he runs fast najma writes neatly how points out adverb of manner adverb of result it 
denotes the result of an occurrence. Consequently, Ali refused to help me. Adverb of quantity or degree. It denotes quantity or degree. Very much little more most left least to almost quite enough. He is least interested in politics. Adverb of affirmation and negation. It affirms or negates something. Yes, no, not, certainly, surely, probably, possibly, etc. There was no boy in the room. Adverb of reason or cause. It denotes result or cause. Therefore, so, hence, thus, accordingly, why, likewise. He, he was go. ill, so he did not come to court. So, I'm in debt, therefore I can't to help you. Adverb of comparison. It denotes degree of an adverb, like the adjective. He will come here soon. Ali will come here sooner than we expect. Adverb of number or frequency. It denotes number or frequency. Never, often, seldom, always, once, twice, again. And sentence, he seldom meets me. I go to my village twice a week. Interrogative adverb. It is used to put question when, where, why, how, how many, etc. How many trees are there in the garden? Where is she? Relative adverb. It is used to join two sentences. Where, when, why, how. Do you know when he will reach? Is this the place where I was born? Like adjectives, adverb also has degrees. One syllable adverb at the ending er and est. Fast, faster, fastest. Late, later, latest. Soon, sooner, soonest. Hard, harder, hardest. Dash words. Early takes er and est like early, earlier, earliest. Adverb of two or more syllables use more and most. Carefully, more carefully, most carefully. Beautifully, more beautifully, most beautifully. Quickly, more quickly, most quickly. Slowly, more slowly, most slowly. Some adverbs use irregular comparatives and superlatives. Badly, worse, worst, far, farther, further, furthest, furthest, little, less, least, much, more, most, well, better, best. When there are two or more adverbs after a verb, the normal order is manner, place, time. For example, in sentence, Ahmed sang sweetly in the class yesterday. Preposition. Preposition is a word governing and usually preceding a noun or pronoun and expressing a relation to another word or element in the clause. Kinds of prepositions Simple prepositions Double prepositions Compound prepositions Phrase prepositions Participle prepositions and discussed prepositions Simple prepositions they are constructed by only one word like at, in, by, of, for, on, over, under, up, to, 
etc. End sentence. He is knocking at the door. Double preposition. They are formed by combining two words or two simple prepositions. For example, into, onto, within, without, among, two words, etc. And in sentence, John jumped into the river. Compound prepositions. These prepositions are two word prepositions. For example, according to, because of, next to, due to, etc. And in sentence, he was upset because of his son's behavior. Phrase prepositions. They are groups of words used with the force of a single preposition for example in front of on account of in opposition to with reference to in spite of etc his house is in front of the college participle prepositions some present participles are used as prepositions. They are the verbs ends in ing. For example, considering, pending, concerning, regarding, respecting, touching, etc. And in sentence, considering the circumstances. The thief was freed. Discussed prepositions. They are no clear word. They are hidden words. Or we can say that the short form of a preposition. For example, by can be changed into be. On can be changed into a. Off can be changed into o like 5 o'clock I will go to office at 9 o'clock Conjunction Conjunction is a word used to connect clauses or to coordinate words in the same clause. It is the action or an instance of two or more events or things occurring at the same point in time or space. space. Kinds. There are two kinds of conjunctions, coordinating conjunctions and subordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions have four more kinds. First is the cumulative or compul compulative conjunctions. They combine two independent clauses of the same type. For example, both, also, to, as well as, no less than, both and, not only, but also, and in sentences, both he and his friend are he is not only intelligent but also hard worker. Second, disjunctive or alternative conjunctions. They combine two independent clauses denoting choice between two things. For example, or, either, neither, else, otherwise, either, or, neither, nor. Work hard. Otherwise, you will fail. Either he or his brother has stolen my book. Third is the adversative conjunctions. They combine two independent clauses of the opposite type. For example, still, however, whereas, only, while, nevertheless, but, yet, etc. And sentences, he is 
before but she is honest she was ill still she came to college fourth the elective conjunctions they combine two independent clauses denoting effect or inference for example so hence thus therefore because as for etc and in sentences ali was ill so he did not go to college it was very hot therefore we stopped our journey second main kind of conjunction is subordinating conjunctions they combine themselves to the principal clause there are 10 ways to express subordinating conjunctions the first way to express is cause or reason example he ran fast because he was getting late second to express purpose example he worked hard so that he might pass the test third is to express the condition i will not help you unless you speak the truth fourth to express contrast he is bold so he is weak fifth to express comparison john is an intelligent as lisa number 6 to express time or period example keep trying as long as you are active seven to express effect example he is so poor that he cannot buy fruit number 8 to express manner as so you so shall you reap number 9 to express opposition and in sentence she promised that she would help me and number 10 to express concession example whatever may happen i will go there interjection interjection is a word or expression that occurs as an utterance on its own and expresses a spontaneous feeling or reaction it is a word in a sentence that expresses feelings of mind there are feelings of joy excitement sorrow surprise etc the most important interjections are as follows interjection of joy hurra by joe bravo huzza hurra we have won the match interjection of grief oh ah alas ah me alas i have lost myself in the wilderness interjection of amusement ha who well done well done you are sure to win surprise wow my word my hat hello good heavens good heavens you have come attention lo hark hush hist hush the principal is coming doubt hana hum 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 you will have to explain it address ho hello hola how these hello how do you do order hold on steady quick go quick leave oats by joe by god oh lord good heavens my god i didn't intend so approval bravo well done bravo good attempt 
for weariness hi ho hi when will it finish for reproof fi fi shame shame for shame 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 how stupid for contempt or ridicule who tash fish sha stuff posh tat tat ho i am not a fool some more interesting interjections are they are very interesting expressions ah it is used to cock the child ahum for clearing the throat ah as a call for help boo to scare someone eh when you didn't hear didn't understand eh conveys dislike or disgust jeez to indicate that you can't believe oh la la to refer as fancy or special oops to exclaim the accident feel expressing relief were to surprise yahoo express joy and happiness yeah it's strong affirmation of approval you who to get attention of someone 